I'm going to show you how to build on water in Sons of the Forest. So you see this, I have this little beachside house here, and this is totally doable, except it's extremely buggy and takes a lot of patience, but you can do it, guys. You can build on water, and I'm going to show you the methods involved in making this happen. It's extremely complicated. It's one of the most complicated builds you're going to do trying to build on water, but you can do it, and let me show you how. First, let's take a quick second to tour what we've already made. So we've got our entrance here, we've got a door, we've got a roof, we've got all this stuff. We've even got on the back um, a little pier for us to swim out of the water and get up onto. Or we have this uh, rope that we can use to climb out of the water up into the home. Now we also have this back here so that we can get up on here. And I didn't put a door on the back because m pretty much all cannibals can't swim. So I don't have to worry about them coming in from the backside. So this thing is pretty secure, it's pretty neat, uh, it's pretty good starter water home. A water base uh, but let me go ahead and let's get into the beginnings of how to do this it's very complicated okay so in order to do this you're gonna need water that's not too deep and obviously you're gonna need a bunch of wood as well so basically the way that this works is that you can only build as deep as one of these is tall and you can't quite go that far you can go about three-fourths the height of a log that's about how deep you can go. So keep that in mind when picking a body of water to build your home in. Now, what we're going to need is obviously logs. And this is going to be very glitchy and very buggy. The game's in early access. I don't even know if it was designed to do this. But I'm going to show you how you can do it anyway. Now, if you're a perfectionist, you're going to struggle with this. You're going to have to rebuild your structures a million times because of weird bugs and things. But it's doable. So you're going to go as deep as you can without getting in the water. Uh, if you get in the water, you'll throw your logs away. And also, I want to let you know ahead of time, you're going to lose a lot of logs when building on water because uh, there's something we have to do where one log always just gets thrown in the water and there's no way to save it. Okay, so put one down like this, about as deep as you can go into the water or just wherever you want to start your base from, wherever, just you'll see. So now the first thing is critical here because this determines the angle of your base. So... Right now, I can make this base any way I want, but whatever I pick here is the how the 90 degree angles I'm going to be going from. So if I go here, we're going to be here. We're also going to be straight left, straight right, make square pattern from this angle, or from here, and it'll make a square pattern from this angle. So in this case, let's just go with, go with right here. All right, so now what we need to do, we got to grab some more logs. All right, so we're going to go over here, and now what we do is we get up on top of this one, and we put a log down right here, and then what you do is you come down on this log and make sure you're not going to go in the water and throw your log away and it's going to give you the option to lift up this one now this will most of the time it's going to do something crazy it's going to bug out the game and it's going to throw your log away into the water if you're in a river it won't matter but in this lake these logs are just gone when this happens so i'm going to click and in this case i actually got it so sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but sometimes it'll just throw the log away in that case it actually just worked so you're starting to see here okay we got some into the water but it, it, it's, we're not done yet because there's some crazy glitchy stuff here. So we're going to try again here. And this one should throw it away. So do this. And there we go. Threw it away. And now we're in the bugged state where it's super deep. And it's off center. The whole thing's messed up. It's held up even though there's nothing underneath of it. So now we're going to take one log so we don't throw away the other. And now what we do is we go to the end. And you'll see that there is no way to, to reinforce this now. And that's because there's a weird bug with this. So what we got to do is make a parallel one. And what I mean by that is, you'll see. So right now I'm going to do is set one over there like that. And this may not even work. I may need to do it from the other side. But we'll see if I can get away with doing it from here. I'm going to throw this log down because I don't want to lose it. And now we're going to go over to here. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. So it threw it away. All right. So now we've got two of these that are bugged out. And there's not really much we can do about it. Uh, I can't go on this one and do it. I can't go on this one and do it. Oh, actually, no. No, actually, that did fix this one. Okay, there's part of this bug I didn't actually fully understand either. All right. Well, that somehow fixed this one, so now I can do this. So I'll go here, do this, and now it'll actually put it, and it aligns it up correctly and does it all correct. So now what we're going to do is we're going to expand this one over here like this, and then come down here and do this. And then maybe I can actually salvage one of these logs. I can. Okay. So now, since these two are parallel to each other, I should be able to do either one of these. So let's do one of them. All right, that fixed that one. And then this one. I should be able to fix this one now. 
Uh, it looks like I can't. Oh, no, I can't. There we go. All right, so we're able to fix that one now. So now we've got this set up. But you'll see the part that gets really confusing here is these are all different heights. So I can't really build anything on this without some serious work here. So let me just go ahead and, and tidy this up a little. Put one like that. And um, while I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and put one like this for now. So in order to build on this, we're going to have to do some crazy stuff. But really fast, let me go ahead and square this thing off for us. Because it'll make it a little bit easier to work on. And it make it easier to show you everything we're going to be talking about here. So let me go ahead and do this one now. Just throw a log away. And now after that, because it has one next to it, I should be able to build on it. It's just that you can't build, you can't fix these when they're all by themselves. But since it has one to the left, it should let me do it, but maybe not. Uh, it is inconsistent. And this is one of the things I'm talking about where it'll drive you crazy, guys, because it's very buggy. So we're not going to be able to fix it just now. Um, I might be able to fix it, though, by doing this one. But let's go ahead and look at the next part of this. So I'm going to throw this down. And I'm going to throw this one down on the ground, actually. I need this actually up here because I'm going to need to pull out my axe now. So in order to straighten this up and build on it, actually, we're going to have to do some crazy stuff if this log will ever stop rolling. Okay. So we're going to need, in this particular case, a fourth. But depending on the height differential, you might need a half. So in order to straighten this up, I have to go here. And I have to try to put this on right here. Now, in this case, it's not going to let me put here this here until I fix this one over here. Uh, but I can maybe go over here and do this one. Okay, it looks like I can't do this one either. So we're going to have to add more to it. So let me go ahead and grab this log. And you see what I mean about this is it's very buggy, guys. Like, we do the best we can when building on water, but it was not designed to work this way. And the game just explodes when we try to do this. Okay, so now I should be able to go over here and hopefully not fall in the water. Yeah, I can fix this one now. All right, so there we go. We got fixed that one. And now I'm going to grab another one. And we're going to see if we can fix up that other one real fast. That is not what I meant to do. But it looks like we can now put down that one, which is what we need. Um, also, we're going to have to put down one over here and probably fix one over there in order to make this one. This is so buggy. But we can do it. All right. So let me go ahead and get some more logs over here. But all we need now is this one real fast. So we can go over here now. And now we can plop that down. So now this is where things get weird. So I don't think we need this one anymore. Now we can replace it and it'll be level now. Now we can come over here. We can grab one of these. And then we can come over here and we can level this one. And now we've got a level platform to build upon. So now we could put down a floor or whatever here. We can put stairs right here. And then we can put a floor right here. But let me go ahead and show you the next part of this. Uh, let me fix this next part so that we can actually uh, get more than just one little square. You can see how this keeps on expanding and keeps on expanding. So we're going to go over here now. And if I fix this one, hopefully it will let me um, place one on the end eventually. So in order to fix it, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, do one over here as well. Because, like I said, they have to be parallel to each other. So we're going to do this one. And then we're going to need another log in order to straighten that out. So now that that one's got a parallel, we should be able to do this one. Yep, now we can do this one. All right, and now we should be able to place one on its end right here and maybe, yeah, right there. So now that it has two sticking off of it like this, we can actually place one on top of it like that. So now in order to, again, in order to straighten this up, what we're going to have to do now is take this log or the previous one we had before, chop off another fourth if I can because... The UI is so bad for this. Oh, my God. There we go. All right. Now we can take this. We can go up here. We can smack it down there. And then we can actually lift this one up and then put it back down like that. And now that one is level. 
So you'll you see now we get, you're starting to see the process here. It's very complicated and very buggy. And you will run into bugs where the only way to fix it is to undo literally everything and put everything down a second time. So if you want to build on water, you better brace yourself for that reality because that will happen. 100% that will happen. I've had it happen. And instead of replacing, I just left it messed up with like a hole in the floor and things. So like I've had weird stuff happen when working with this stuff. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and grab a few more things real fast. And let's cuff another fourth. If it'll let me, because it's like borderline possible sometimes. All right. So now you'll see over here, we're going to add this other one over here. Let's fix up this last one real fast. We put that down and then we should be able to lift. No, we actually can't lift this one up. So this one has to stay this way. And sometimes you'll run into this and that's fine. You'll just have weird double layer things like this. But either way, we can now put that down. And now we can put that down and now it's coming along and we'll just keep on expanding like this until we have what we had just a minute ago that I showed you the actual full on base that I had and from this point you'll just add all the features that you want to add to it as you go or however you want you can make it double wide you can make it bigger uh, you can do it however so like now I would add stairs And if I wanted to, I would add, you know, a door or pillars on the side or whatever else. And you just keep uh, making it whichever way you think here, whichever way you want to build your water base. Now, ideally, you're going to build this like I'm going to look for spots. I may make a video on it, but uh, ideally, you're going to want a really deep river that's really wide. And if you do this in a river, you'll be safe year round from the cannibals. Um, but in this particular case, once winter comes, they'll be able to just come up here with me because the, uh, the lake's frozen. So it's not going to be as good in the winter. But um, at this point, hopefully now you understand how this works. So over here, I would place a fourth right there. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to expand it to the sides. So, and otherwise, it won't give me the option to place on top of it, which you will see. Oh, well, actually, in this case, I was able to place on it. So I could go ahead and place a fourth on that. And then I could place another log across there. And then I already have three, you know, squares to build upon. And if I want to, I keep on expanding out. And eventually you'll hit a point though, the water's so deep that it won't let you use that bug anymore to uh, build up the platforms. And uh, that's gonna be as far as you can go. So keep in mind, whenever you're gonna build on water, check the depth, go swim in, try to see how deep it is. And what, if it's too deep, then you're just not gonna be able to build there. So keep that in mind when you're trying to build. Um, so hopefully this helped you out guys. Now you know how to do this. And if this video did help you, check out the description of this video for other helpful uh, Sons of the Forest videos. I, there's like log dupe exploits, item dupe exploits, like, I don't know, how, alternatives for defensive wall gates. I've got all sorts of helpful videos in there for you to pick from to help you out in your journey here. And also, if, if you want to support me, just check out Art Gallery Simulator on Steam. It's a game that I'm making. There's a link for that in the description as well. But that's it, guys. Uh, this is how to do a water home. This is the foundation of the whole thing. And uh, you can use your own creative freedom to build it any which way you want. But now that you know the method, you know the sky's the limit, and you can let your creativity take you wherever you want. There you go, guys. Now you know how to build on water in Sons of the Forest.